This is a beautiful case that was shared with me by Dr. Antonina Kalamakova of CSD Healthcare in Kiev. Um, it's a lovely example of a dermal nevus showing extensive balloon cell change in neurotization. And it's not something one sees terribly often. I think I've mentioned previously that uh, in my experience, balloon cell melanoma, or at least balloon cell change, is much more commonly encountered in a melanoma than as in a nevus. Now, there's a definition that people often use, which is that um, one uses the term balloon cell nevus if one has 50% of or more of the nevus cells showing balloon cell change. And we call it nevus with balloon cell change if it's less. To me, that's a very artificial di distinction, and I wouldn't waste time over it. To me, uh, the two terms are in are interchangeable. Now, I just want to turn this image round so we can look at it in its all, all of its glory. So this lesion may well have come from the cheek of, a, of an adult, let's say, for the sake of argument. It would certainly do for that. And it's a dome-shaped lesion. We can see uh, epidermis on top not really doing anything very much and then occupying the dermis and going down to the base of the lesion is a cellular population which we'll look at a bit more closely. And um, just, just for orientation purposes, the top of the lesion is showing typical type B nevus cells which are small blue and very hyperchromatic with little cytoplasm. And as one walks towards the center of this lesion, one can see that the cells are much larger and they have grayish cytoplasm and there are some multinucleate cells. And if I enlarge that a little bit more, we can get this into, that's an absolutely lovely field showing type B nevus cells at the top and some more nevus type B cells there. And then this is the balloon cell component. We'll look at that at higher magnification. In fact, we may as well go to times 40. And this is, this is very typical. In, in a balloon cell melanocyte, the nucleus typically sits in the middle of the cell it's hyperchromatic and rather irregular. You don't see any nu nucleoli. And then it's surrounded by abundant, rather granular cytoplasm. Now, in a melanoma with balloon cell change, the cytoplasm might be the same, but the nuclei would be quite different. In balloon cell melanoma, the nuclei are typically vesicular, they're enlarged, they're pleomorphic, and there is generally a fairly prominent nucleolus. So we're not seeing that anywhere in this lesion. It looks very monomorphic. The nuclei are all just the same. They're all central. They're all hyperchromatic. So I don't think one needs to worry too much about the possibility of a balloon cell melanoma. Now this lesion also shows um, some nice additional features. It shows extensive neurotization at the base of the lesion. These are the so-called type C nevus cells, which look rather like Schwann cells. And if I enlarge this up to this magnification, you can see that the cytoplasm has this rather homogeneous, very neural appearance. And in places, now there is another cut I'm going to look at, but in places you can see a hint of a laminated internal structure, rather like Meissnerian corpuscles. Now let me go back to the low power and we'll have a look at this one, uh, this cut which is slightly different. Uh, and again, it's it's a very pretty, pretty um, um, image. So there we have lovely balloon cells at, at the top, just the same as, as in the other cut. Here, here we can see scattered multinucleate cells, which are often present in balloon cell change. In fact, there's another one there. And, uh, but as we go deeper into the lesion, 
Um, this is what I was looking for here. This is very dramatic neurotization. Let's see if we can get... Yes, now that's gorgeous. You see, if you look here carefully, you can see there's a laminated or a lamellated internal structure. These look awfully like Meissner's corpuscles. So this, uh, this lesion is a, a dermal nevus with balloon cell change and extensive neurotization. So I hope that's been of some use and of some interest to you. Thank you very much for your attention.